What's up, YouTube Combat here, and today marks one week from the Call of Duty World War II worldwide release. Friday, November 3rd at midnight, your time, whatever that might be, you can go out and pick up Call of Duty World War II. Now, how wouldn't you know that? Because the hype is real with this game. Wherever you go, whatever thing you try to watch, whether I go on my Instagram feed or my Twitter feed, I hear about Call of Duty World War II dropping in this many days. Call of Duty World War II, you can, you know, relive the past. Call of Duty World War II, bringing Call of Duty back to its roots. Aren't you excited? Isn't this something that's going to bring you back into the series that has time and time and time again failed you? It's going to be different this year, I swear to God. I feel like battered spouse who continues to go back into their abusive relationship because they feel it's safe. Well, you know, like, he said he was going to change, so, like, I didn't think he would hurt me again. Really? You believe that? Or somebody who's cheated on numerous times? No, he just said that was the last time. Yeah, I heard that with Advanced Warfare. That was the last time we're going to have weapon variants. Oh yeah, in Modern Warfare 3, I heard that was the last time we were going to get Last Stand. Oh yeah, except there was Dead Man's Hand in Modern Warfare 3. Every time this series seems to try to progress forward, it moves backwards. And I keep coming back. And that's the most frustrating thing. It doesn't matter what I do, I keep coming back to this series. I am not hyped for Call of Duty World War 2. Just simply not. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the fact that it's been overhyped or that everyone believes this is going to be the savior to Call of Duty or I'm just becoming cynical in my 26-year-old age. But there is something that I can't put my finger on as to why I do not think that this is going to be the, the number one first-person shooter game or the game to bring Call of Duty back to its roots or back into uh, the stratosphere as per first-person shooters. I don't know what it is, I can't put my finger on it, but from all the gameplay I've seen, because I haven't played myself, because you know, you needed to pre-order the game to play anything in beta, because I haven't played it, I can't judge it fully, and I will play it, because let's be honest, I'm a COD drone, and I'm going to buy it on November 3rd. Even though I say I'm not hype, I'm still going to go pick it up, because I'm a fool and an imbecile, and learn from my mistakes. Do not fall into this trap. Because once they've got you hooked, they have you hooked for life. Luckily, I haven't fallen for the supply drops yet. And I don't think I will. But regardless of that, while I was watching gameplay, and as I was watching people play it, they didn't seem as excited as they wanted to seem. They wanted to seem like this was going to change Call of Duty. That they was going to change our perceptions of it. And it was just kind of, oh, this is the same thing we've always had. Oh, this is just running around and shooting. Hmm. These maps are frustrating. Oh, look, another camper. Oh. It seems that the frustrations and the problems that have played Call of Duty for years are going to continue to stack on top of each other, what, whatever it might be. It's just we don't have jetpacks, and we don't have specialists, which is great, and it's fine, and I think that's good for Call of Duty, but we need to find ways to improve the franchise. Not just hit a reset button and think that that's going to solve all the problems. Because hitting a reset button is great in some terms, but also pretty bad in others. And could be hurtful and detrimental to this series moving forward. I'm hoping that next year, when the next Call of Duty comes out, they don't come out with, All new pick 10 system like never before! You just took that out of this game. You just took out a pick system and said, you can choose one... I don't even know what they're called. See, this is how little I care. Uh, one basic training thing and uh, and one other perk, and that's it. That's that's what you get. There's no pick 10. None of that. But they'll bring it in as the new, exciting feature. See, guys, we're innovating. We're Infinity Ward. We're Activision. We learn how to innovate. And honestly, in all truth, I do believe the Treyarch game is actually probably going to be good, considering the fact that Treyarch hasn't let me down since I've started playing Call of Duty. So from Black Ops 1 till now... Their three games they've made have been pretty solid entries into the franchise. But that doesn't mean I'm excited. It doesn't mean that I'm hyped. And I want to know what's making you guys excited for Call of Duty World War II. What's making Call of Duty YouTubers 
getting amped for this? Like, what's making you do that? What's making you believe in this franchise again? This franchise has hurt us so many times. This franchise that has told us so many times. It's changing. It's going to be different this time. But it isn't. When are we going to learn that this is just another front for them to shove supply drops down our throat? There's no weapon variants, but there probably will be. Oh, don't worry, everything's easily earnable, and you can get things in supply drops pretty easily. All you have to do is play, or pay all your life savings. Now, as somebody who wants to buy a house one of these days, I would prefer to buy a house versus buying 100,000 supply drops. I'll grind and earn my things, but at the same time, it'd be nice if they weighed each other out somewhat, or if we had a market where we could trade our duplicates and things we didn't want. But regardless of that, I personally have a negative view already of Call of Duty World War II, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope for the franchise, and for the future of this channel, and for the future of Call of Duty on YouTube, that this is a great Call of Duty game. Because even though I am cynical, I do believe and do want to see Call of Duty World War II be a success. But I don't think it should be a success based solely on hype. And that's why I'm not buying into hype this year. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, can you please hit that like button? If you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below in the comments section what's got you most excited for Call of Duty World War II. And until next time, guys, combat, signing off. Peace.